In this video, I'm going to show you the fundamentals of creating images using Leonardo AI's AI image generator. Now, first of all, you're going to want to log in to your account. Once you're logged in, you get a screen just like this. But before we get into the nitty gritty of starting from scratch, what we're gonna actually do is explore the community feed here on the left. So by clicking here and going to the community feed, I can actually scroll through and find inspiration for images I would like to create. If I like a particular image style or subject, I can go through what other people have created and actually learn from their prompts. So if I click on this image here, now as you can see, we've got a little bit of information about this image. We have the prompt that they've actually used to create this image, as well as some information about the resolution, when it was created, and some of the settings used, as well as the actual model they used to generate the image. Now, the first thing I wanna show you is that you can simply use all the exact same settings by going straight to Remix. If I click on Remix, I get taken to the image generator with all of the same settings. So I can actually go through instead and change some of this, I can say neon, dark light i can add something in there like wolf howling and i can actually even remix this image and hit generate and i can generate something reasonably similar by remixing that prompt now, another thing i can do is actually just copy the prompt if i don't want all the other settings i can just hit copy prompt and use that in the generator itself the other option is to simply generate with the model they've used so if i want to create something that's completely different but i really like this model I can click generate with this model and you'll see it's selected 3D animation style, the same model we used before and I can type my own prompt in there, such as midnight moon over the pyramids in Egypt. And then with our own prompt, we're able to get our own image using that same 3D model. So that's a great way to start because it allows you to kind of put the training wheels on and allows you to play with other people's prompts to get a feel for how this works. Now, if you wanna generate your own images from scratch, all you need to do once you've logged in is head down to AI image generation. And to give you an idea of how this all works, on the left-hand side here, you've got all of your settings. They help you adjust the quality, number of images, resolution, and will allow you to turn on or off various features, including some of the more premium features we will cover later. And then on the right-hand side, you enter your prompt. So this is where you type in what it is you're after, and you can actually choose your model. And each model gives you a different style or look based on the images used to train that model. So you can more directly choose the type of look you want added to your image. Now to explore these styles, simply head down to select custom model. You'll see we've got a few, we've got photo reel, dream shaper. We've got a few different styles, including the one we just created, created with 3D animation style. We can choose one that matches the aesthetic we're going for and basically use that to generate images with. And we've got a few other options in here, such as, such as elements, and you can also add a negative prompt. These are additional fine tuning tools we're gonna to cover in future videos. Now, understanding some of these features and what you're seeing on the screen here, if we go down, you can see I can choose how many images I wanna generate at one time. We have some premium features here, which include photo reel for creating photo realistic images, Alchemy is a, like a pipeline for high fidelity image generation. It works with all existing models and really uh, sort of takes your images to the next level. And Prompt Magic 3 for better prompt adherence. It gets you better results with your imagery. If you come down, we've got a few more settings here, such as the input dimensions, which we're going to touch on in a little bit. And further down, some more advanced settings, which we're actually not going to worry about covering today. We're just going to focus on some of the fundamentals. Now, for best results, I highly recommend turning on Alchemy. Photo Reel, if you want a photorealistic image, or using Prompt Magic. Now these are premium features with the exception of Prompt Magic. Prompt Magic version three is a premium feature, but you can experiment with Prompt Magic version two if you have a free account, and I highly recommend doing that because you can still produce some really, really excellent looking images using Prompt Magic version two with a free account. So once you've got everything set up, we've got two images, we've got our uh, settings turned on like Photo Reel, Prompt Magic, Alchemy, and we've got a resolution set up. We're gonna go with 768 by 512. Although maybe I want something that is taller. I can switch over here to 512. Now keep in mind, some of these models have been trained at a specific resolution. And if you want the best results, you're better off trying to match that resolution when generating. For instance, if I turn off alchemy up here, you'll notice I get this little uh, sort of exclamation mark here. It says, note the selected model has been trained at 640 by 832. So I would actually be better off using that resolution if I was not using Alchemy in this particular instance and matching that resolution for best results. But I'll turn that back on and we'll keep going from where we were. You can go down to your aspect ratio down the bottom here and change that there as well. There's a few here you can choose from, but I'm gonna stick with a ratio of three to two. And if I want to, I can switch that around to two to three and go from there. So let's type in a prompt. So I've typed in a samurai warrior 
anime style in front of Mount Fuji, keeping it pretty simple. So from here, I'm gonna choose cinematic. We've got photo reel turned on. I'm gonna hit generate to see what kind of results we get. So you can see the quality we've been able to create using these settings with Leonardo AI. It looks like an actual photo. We've got Mount Fuji in the background and a very awesome look. However, one thing to keep in mind is I did choose anime style. So I might turn off photo reel so I can adjust and try again. And I'm gonna change my alchemy style from dynamic to anime. And I don't want a 3D animation style, so I'll change that to Dream Shaper version seven and generate with this model. And you can see the images we've got here, a little bit more of an anime style with a high level of detail. You can see how we've been able to take that style and really apply it to what we're doing, which I think is pretty cool. But keep in mind, you don't need to have access to the premium features to get excellent imagery with Leonardo AI. It might take a little more fine tuning, but you can still get there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off Alchemy and Photo Reel and generate using only free features. And now we've got some quality images using only the free features of Leonardo AI. So we open one of these up. Now the other thing too is that this image is 512 by 768. If we want it to be bigger, we do have some upscale options. You'll notice a few different ones down here, but I'm gonna go with creative upscale. It's going to re-render that image at a higher resolution. And now our image has been upscaled. And the creative upscale has 4 x the image. There's now 1792 pixels by 2704 pixels. So you get reasonably high resolution pretty easily, even with the free account. Now I do recommend going in and actually experimenting with a bunch of these models. There are a whole bunch of platform models, plenty to choose from to get some really awesome results. I was able to create this image using SDXL 0.9, which is a uh, stable diffusion XL 0.9, really cool artistic looking image. And then I created this image, same prompt using the absolute reality setting. So you can get some really, really awesome images by playing around with some of these models and experimenting to see what effect it has on your prompt. So jump onto Leonardo AI and give that a go and see what results you get. And the next video, we're gonna explore basic prompt structure so you can even further master your prompts and get even better images using this platform. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you again soon.